Hello everybody, welcome back to another awesome video on the Tutorial Tucker channel. Today I'm showing you the best free video editing softwares out there on the market today. This video took me a long time to make and just put all together and researched softwares. So please make sure you smash a big fat like, go and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. And once you've done all of that, make sure you just drop a comment if you enjoyed the video or just, you know, just anything general or if any questions you have, try and leave a comment below. Obviously, obviously leave a comment below and I'll try and answer them to my best knowledge. So yeah, this video is, should be really good and if you want to know what I edit in, I currently edit in Sony Vegas um, and if you want to see me make a more in-depth video on the softwares I'm going to be telling you about today on each specific one and how to edit more in-depth than just like how to actually create an actual video instead of more of a basic overview then I will do that very soon um, but make sure this video gets, gets a good amount of likes and I will actually break down each individual software. I think this main thing I want to say, uh, I'm going to go through each software one by one, there is no particular order, they're all just as good but I would recommend watching the whole video throughout so you see all the different softwares um, because I'm going to be using them and showing you kind of the basics of the software. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into this. Okay, so as you can see, here is the Lightworks, here is the website. It's a really actually easy to use website. And as you can see, it's just a really good editing software. There is a paid version, but I'm showing you the free version. And in this clip, I'll also be showing you how to download it. But as you can see, you can do up to 4K, which is, isn't necessary, but it's good to have the capability. It shows it's a good software, but it also says you can do HD, which is really good. Um, and it works on 32-bit systems, which is really useful as well. And it has a wild file format support, which is key important because a lot of these sort of recording softwares or cameras, there's so many different outputs. Um, it's good to be able to, you know, use them all in one software. And as you can see, there is a quick start guide here, um, which you could go and use. And as you can see, there's a full video. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you the same sort of thing. So yeah, to go and download it, obviously you want to do is click the download now button and it's going to load. And as you can see, there is Windows, Linux and Mac. And all you want to do is click on the um, the bit of what your um, computer is the majority of computers now so as you can see the installation process of this program is super super easy it only takes literally a couple minutes okay guys so now i want to quickly show how you can go and use lightworks the first thing you want to go and do is click create a new project just up here click create new project enter your name i'm going to put youtube 2 just like so and now i'm going to go and go and choose the frame rate simply by clicking down here choose I recommend going for 30 FPS because it's just a standard rate and for a note you can just add hi um, or you'd have to add anything uh, so then go and click create and it's now going to load us in. So now here is simply where you can go and choose files but to go and actually get to the edit all you want to do is click edit and now you've got your timeline here um, and to drag this along you can just drag it like that by holding it. Um, so to import a clip all you do is go to local files and find your clip I'm using some Fortnite gameplay grab it and drag it in just like so and as you can see we've now got this so you can actually see the person starting to record this so I want it to start where he's in the boat um, and in order to do that you want to press C and now it's made a split if I go along as you can see you've got that little split to get rid of this bit for along now right click on this and you can go and delete it just by clicking remove or delete um, and boosh and now when we click play at the start of it you can now just have the, the gameplay without the black bit. And you can also move it along right to the start like that, which makes it easier when rendering. As you can see, zero seconds it starts. Click play. And to add transitions, what we're going to do is right click on it um, where you get the little sorts of white lines. Um, and you can add transitions. Uh, as you can see, add. And we can add like a push. Um, and then we play. It comes in like that. So it's so, so easy to use. And you can obviously change the length back here as well um, by simply dragging it like that. Um, just grab it like this. But anyway, yeah, that is how you use Lightworks. Let's get to the next software. So let's get into the second software I'll be showing you, and that is Hit Film Express. Now, Hit Film Express is a really good video, and it is actually one of my favorite um, softwares on here. Now, Hit Film Express is a free video editing software with professional grade VFX. So there are loads of um, sort of um, transitions and effects you can put on. As I mean, and there we go. And it's really easy to use. And as you see, there's training modes. Now, all these free softwares actually have good training, which I think is really important. Um, so yeah, to go and download it, all you want to do is click download Hit Film Express. Obviously, pretty simple. Click on download. Now you need to quickly make an account. I've already got one. Um and that's pretty much it. And then you click send me the express download and then you can start downloading it. Um, and then obviously you run through the installation process really easy. And let's go to that now. And it's actually surprisingly fast on how fast this is installing. Um, but once you've installed, you may need to get a code. Now to get the code, all you need to do is log on to your account. And once you've logged into your account, it's going to give you the serial code here. I'll probably blur mine out because you need to do it one by one. But as you can see, you get even though it's a free program, you still need the serial code to make sure you are a, le a legit person. Um, and you'll need to enter this before 
before. Well, you can use the software before it, but it, it, you need to basically activate it in the long term. So make sure you copy the serial code right there and then go and paste it into your software. Now I'm going to show you how to go and use Hit Film Express. So the first thing you want to do is you load it up. It's come to click new and now it was going to give you all the settings you want for this. So this is actually my, I'll change the frame rate to 30 as I did before just like on that is all you want to do and you can also change I think that's it actually yeah and you can change the length so five minutes is fine for me click OK once you set all your correct settings now it's going to load me to my timeline and just like that we're now here so all you want to do to add clips is simply go to your file file explorer just like below or your where you keep your files essentially and just like before you can drag your clips in so all I do is grab it now drag it in and go into here this box and as you can see it's now here you can sort of preview it up there um, but to get it into your timeline you just drag it again just like so actually sorry it's just conforming audio so you do need to wait for that to occur once that's um, finished then you can put it in here and you can start using it so it's now finished I'm gonna quickly drag it in like that and boosh it's now in here as you can see and it may take a minute to load and as you can see it says different um, settings I'd recommend just letting that do it but by itself just by clicking yes um, and it will just change the settings for you or leave it now as you can see as before we still want to do that bit of trimming um, just like so we have the bow but I may start it later in the video just switch up a bit and as we gave the settings to have the video length about four minutes I believe um, yeah you need to obviously make sure it is under that time zone but obviously it can be longer um, it all depends up to you so I'm gonna have it like that and that's the same clip and to do stuff you can do right click and it gives you loads of options like blending, transform, the speed duration, we can speed it up. Um, if you want it to be 200%, we can do that just by changing it from 100 to 200. Click enter, and as you can now, it's really speed. Look at this awesome building, also, guys. This is free to use, by the way. Um, and yet, you can add other stuff up in the box below. So, if you wanted to add maybe some text or another image, that's easy. And to change the volume, you simply drag that up and down. So, you can make it louder or standard. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And to save it, all you need to do is click on the export button just there. Um, but yeah, this software is nice. Um, but like I said, my favorite one is definitely um, DaVinci Resolve. I think it's really easy to use. The third and final program is DaVinci Resolve 16, and this is literally one of my favorites out there. I really like the usability of the software, and I'm kind of really enjoying it. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you more about this. It's by Blackmagic Pro. Um, Black, 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 Blood magic design I mean anyway so here we are it's actually a really professional website it tells you what's new in the software um, and essentially everything about it and how it will work so as you see portable editing all this stuff now to download it I recommend going down below because sometimes the top one didn't work for me so you've got to scroll down all the way down here click on download now and simply enter your details obviously first um, select the software you want so this does work on Mac which is really important and Lightworks also does sorry I didn't mention that at the start now I'm not sure about HitFilm Express but I'm pretty sure Lightworks and eventually um, definitely work on windows and mac and linux so i'll be putting in the description down below um all, all more details about it sorry i'm being really vague anyway i'll make sure i put um down below if hit from express does work on mac but i'm pretty sure it does and to download it click on windows just like so and now you need to enter your details and then click register and download and it takes you to a download page where you then go and click download uh, pretty self-explanatory and then you can start the install process so once you've done that click on register and download uh, as you see i need to enter all this first and i've already done it so yeah we'll go and do that and then we can go and start the um, the inst installation process Okay guys, so now I want to go and show you how you go and use DaVinci Resolve 16 really really easily So all I do is right click and click new project just like so Click create and now it's gonna load us to here So as you can see we've got our timeline down here and we've got our clips in media pool Now to put your clip in a media pool you simply need to go to your um file explorer which i've currently got mine here uh, i'm just going to put it in like that um but i'm going to drag it on my second monitor so i've now got the clip and i'm simply going to drag it into the media pool and as you can see it has a different frame rate but i'll just click change and it'll be absolutely fine and it's just loading in so now it's here we can now go and drag it into our timeline really easily just like so and now it's clipped in um, and like I said before I'll just show, show you how to do like the basic cuts of the of the video um, so to play it'll go like that so I'm gonna play to the point where I want it to start just like so and as you see this is the cut section actually so I can simply just do that boosh and now it, that's the new area so to go to the edit section you can now click here 
and it's going to load us to a different different timeline um, which, which is more advanced so as you can see we still got the cut I made so this is actually easier going to the cut section for kind of you know getting to the point of the video where you start speaking um, I find anyway but it also it works for different people um, so anyway once you've got that all you want to do is just go and add to whatever you want and that will make a cut but also you can go to the color section as well make, make it will load a minute and you can adjust all the different colors like that so you want it really bright you can do that um, because I know a lot of people want edits like that really bright effect um, but anyway yeah you can just change it any whatever you want or just do control Z to go back to what it was and yeah we go back to normal anyway that's the main bit and you've got Fairlight you've got deliver which is basically saving it um so yeah as you can see you can then render out here which is really easy you can literally do it do to YouTube like specifically um and it'll give you all the settings which is super super easy so yeah that is how you go and use DaVinci Resolve 16.